creepy Joe Biden makes perverted comment about sexy Melania when asked about Trump. As the left continues to paint President Donald Trump as a misogynist, they ignore Bill Clinton's many indiscretions, including allegations of rape, and Joe Biden's disturbing actions against women. Now, creepy Uncle Joe has struck again after he was asked what he thinks of Trump's presidency thus far. Instead of answering the straightforward question, he brings sexy Melania into the mix with a perverted comment that should have liberals furious. Rumors and speculations about Joe Biden's behavior towards women circulated throughout his tenure as vice president. Although he's out of the VP office, those allegations don't seem to be going away anytime soon. After a former Secret Service agent recently came forward with some troubling claims about Biden's sexist and physically harassing behavior towards women, Joe just made everything a whole lot worse with what he said about Melania Trump. The former vice president was recently on NBC's Today, where he answered questions from the audience, one of which involved a pretty straightforward question about Donald Trump's presidency. However, not only did Biden struggle to answer the question, but he made an inappropriate comment regarding First Lady Melania Trump, as well. After a woman in the audience asked Biden if he thought that President Trump was doing well, he struggled to find an answer. I think there's a number of things he's doing well, Biden began. But even the things he's doing well, it's how he does them, Biden added. It's more the tone of this administration that bothers me, he continued. As he danced around the answer, the talk show host called him out and asked again for his response, and it was then Biden couldn't help but show his true colors. After Matt Lauer interjected, with all due respect, you haven't come up with one thing you think he's doing well, Biden responded, well, I think he married very well, before adding, I can't think of something right now, but I'm not being a wise guy. There's a lot of the country that's still functioning. As leftist publications reported on the remarks, they were only briefly mentioned in quotes. There was no liberal outrage, such as that we would have seen should such words slip from the Republican's mouth about a Democrat's wife. In fact, liberal rags such as The Hill glossed over the sexist remark as if it wasn't said. After quoting the joke, they continued their report as if nothing out of the ordinary was said. Can you imagine the shrieking if Donald Trump has said something similar? One thing is for certain, a mention of a possible presidential run would not have been reported without bemoaning such remarks, but as American Lookout said after pointing out that Biden never gets called out for this, must be nice to be a Democrat. Indeed, it must be nice since they obviously play by a completely different set of rules. As the left has used allegations of sexual misconduct against their opposition time and time again, feigning outrage and disdain while parading alleged victims as political props, they turn a blind eye when one of their own does the same. So, sadly, it comes as no surprise that the liberal media has completely let not only this remark but also the troubling allegations recently raised by a former Secret Service agent slide. The double standard is ridiculously obvious. Did Donald Trump marry well? Yes, we can agree that our First Lady is classy, beautiful, and extremely intelligent, so, yes, he did. However, the fact remains that such a comment would usually be deemed inappropriate, sexist, and misogynistic by the liberal left. However, since a Democrat said it, it's swept under the rug as nothing happened. Again, we can only imagine the outrage liberals would display if Trump said something even remotely similar about any female, let alone a first lady. What's worse? This is far from the first time Biden has gotten a free pass for inappropriateness where females are concerned. He didn't turn the nickname Creepy Uncle Joe for nothing. There are plenty of YouTube compilations of Biden getting handsy, with not only women but very young girls, to show exactly how he earned his reputation. Disgustingly, the more the left enables it by turning a blind eye, the more it is going to happen. While the left continues their attempts to paint Trump as the creepy womanizer all because of one locker room talk with another guy in private, they allow their own to get away with behavior like this. Democrats grow increasingly disgusting with their double standards, all while pointing fingers at others. This is what happened, no pun intended to cause their historic loss.
Maybe someone should fill them in that the American people have had it with their hypocrisy. Hypocrisy.